Black History Day, February is Black History Month. Since the 1970s that familiar declaration has introduced countless celebrations of African American history and achievement, from Black History Minutes on local television stations to the pronouncements of U.S. presidents. But why is February designated as the month to commemorate African American history? The answer lies with eminent American historian Carter G. Woodson, who pioneered the field of African American studies in the early 20th century. Inspired by having attended a three-week national celebration of the 50th anniversary of emancipation in 1915, Woodson joined four others in founding the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History ASNLH, to encourage scholars to engage in the intensive study of the black past. A subject that had long been sorely neglected by academia and in U.S. schools. In 1916 Woodson began editing the Association's principal scholarly publication, The Journal of Negro History. In 1924, spurred on by Woodson, his college fraternity, Omega Psi Phi, introduced Negro History and Literature Week. Two years later, determined to bring greater attention to African American history, Woodson and the ASNLH launched Negro History Week in February 1926. February is the birth month of two figures who loom large in the black past, U.S. President Abraham Lincoln who issued the Emancipation Proclamation, and African American abolitionist, author, and orator Frederick. The black community had celebrated their contributions to African American liberation and civil rights on their birthdays. By rooting Negro History Week in February, Woodson sought to both honor the inestimable legacy of Lincoln and Douglas and to expand an already existent celebration of the black past to include not only the accomplishments of these two great individuals but also the history and achievements of black people in general.